babies don't bite the boob that feeds you. Am I right, mama? Let's dive into your week 44 update. I mentioned last week that Faith is popping teeth like crazy. She's got six teeth, and I'm sure she has some discomfort in her mouth. You know, swollen gums, there's lots of new ivories making their appearance. And as a result, she's chewing and biting on everything, including my boobs, which is very painful. That's the one thing about extended breastfeeding, you deal with the teeth and the biting issue with some children. Faith, she likes to really experiment and kind of push the boundaries a little bit. And so I had to be firm, you know, no. Or sometimes I'll literally just be caught off guard and go, oh, and kind of, you know, raise my voice. And I'm realizing she's very sensitive. So she literally started crying um, after I kind of said no. And it just, so I was like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Faith. I didn't mean to be so crabby about it or, you know, hurt your feelings, but you need to understand like this hurts your mama, okay? But, you know, she is just such an interesting little creature because she can be like that really sensitive, but then at the same time she's growling and she's on the ground like a roving lion, just looking for anything and everything to eat and put into her mouth. She's just so into that oral fixation right now. So I have found things like Legos, which I literally have gotten rid of every Lego I thought, but no, she ends up finding one. I don't know where she, you know, she's got eyes of a hawk. There's really nothing that's off limits for this girl. She loves twigs when she goes outside, sand at the beach, Rocks are some of her favorite, and the bigger the rock, the more of a choking risk, the better. It's almost like she knows, like, ooh, that's a good one. Um, and so she, it's just a constant job keeping things out of her mouth. And I've been trying to find like really, really hard carrots or things that she can kind of gnaw on without hurting herself. But I think it's just she wants to soothe her mouth. So I did get one of those like little silicone teethers and I've put frozen mango. Sometimes I've used frozen um, breast milk chips and she, man, she just goes to town on that. And even just ice cubes. Frankly, that's the easiest and the, the least messy. And she loves it. She just, and it's good because, um, you know, at this age, babies can have a little bit of water. They can have some more fluids. We also live in Florida where it's hotter. So I like to give her a little water every day anyway. So she loves to suck on those ice cubes. I'm telling you in that little silicone feeder. Um, but that's really what my challenge is right now is just keeping her orally stimulated in ways that don't hurt and isn't harmful for her. In other news, she has been bridging the furniture, which I love this stage. It's so fun. I remember it with Paloma and Griffin. And, um, you know, this is probably a month or two or three before she'll start walking. So just seeing her take that risk, taking that leap of faith. She's even taken like a step or two, but I mean, it's, it's definitely not walking in any stretch of imagination, but she's getting there, you know, she's, she's taking those little steps that are going to lead her to walking. So that's fun to see. And just to see her strength and her personality and just her perseverance and trying it and falling and failing and getting back up again. It's just a great lesson for us as mamas to realize that we need to always be taking risks and leaps of faith and growing as well. So that's why babies are our greatest teacher. Our children are our greatest teachers. So that's what's going on with us in week 44 update. I hope you and baby are doing fantastic. We'll catch you next time. Hi, I'm Genevieve Howland, AKA Mama Natural. And this is my third baby, Faith. Together, we'll be taking you through baby's first year. So be sure to sign up for your free updates at mamanatural.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much and we'll catch you next week.